everybody welcome to tips from stella so ladies we all have times when we are so motivated to exercise and always looking forward to that workout session and then comes a time when boom we have zero moods for exercising when all we want to do is sit down on the couch and watch movies all day with cake or ice cream well i experience this every single month when i look at my one kilogram dumbbells and they seem like 10 kilograms heavier yes unlike men who can exercise every single day without loss of motivation we women experience hormonal changes every single week due to the menstrual cycle so do not feel bad when you backslide and are not exercising as efficiently as you would like but it does not mean that you should relax and do nothing about this first let us visit the basics of how our menstrual cycle works and how we can adjust our diet and workout routines to improve our body's internal rhythm the menstruation cycle starts at day one after the unfertilized egg causes the uterus lining to break down a menstrual cycle lasts 28 days on average but can vary due to many factors from woman to woman however we shall use 28 days as reference in this video the menstrual cycle occurs mainly in two phases which include the follicular phase and the luteal phase the follicular phase begins on the first day of your menstruation and ends at the first day of your ovulation and this is roughly from 1 to 14 days menstruation or bleeding will occur from day 1 to day 7 the luteal phase then picks up from the first day of your ovulation up to the 28th day to complete the cycle and begin a new one. So what happens during the follicular phase? In the first week from day 1 to 7, estrogen levels increase steadily while progesterone levels and the body temperature remain the same. This increases your body's sensitivity to insulin and in turn an increase in its tolerance to pain. This means that your muscles recover much faster from exercising in this period and it is the best time your body can handle high intensity anaerobic workouts. So if you do not experience painful menstrual cramps, this is the time to increase your resistance training by using weights for muscle building. You will realize that your body can handle heavier weights than what you normally lift and this is more muscle for you, right? And if you experience painful cramps, just take it easy and do simpler exercises like yoga and gentle pilates. Just an extra tip, drink a cup or two of raspberry leaf tea daily or two weeks before your period to keep away painful menstrual cramps. Taking a calcium magnesium supplement also helps to have a cramps free period. Moving on to what you should eat. During this phase, the body derives most of its energy from glycolysis, meaning it mostly uses carbohydrates for fuel. So it is important to up your carbohydrate intake during the follicular phase by consuming carbohydrates like oats, vegetables like carrots, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, yams, and rice. In addition, according to the American Journal of Nutrition, the basal metabolic rate BMR decreases at the beginning of menstruation and reaches the lowest point a week before ovulation. So doing more intense workouts and in including metabolism boosting foods in your diet, especially in the follicular phase, will help counteract this slower metabolism. Foods like green tea, ginger, among others. In the second week from day 7 to 14, right after menstruating, estrogen will continue to increase to its peak while progesterone levels still remain the same. Since estrogen is still high and because it helps in promoting muscle building and recovery, still focus on total body strength training to build more muscle. Focusing on making proper warm-ups before your workout and proper stretching after to prevent muscle injury. What to eat during this time? You will most probably have a low appetite because estrogen suppresses appetite but focus on consuming a balanced diet with plenty of protein for muscle building and carbohydrates for energy. Moving on to ovulation that occurs at day 14, at this point estrogen has peaked and will begin to decline while progesterone begins to increase. You may feel warmer metabolism will start to increase and insulin sensitivity will begin to decline 
You will also experience food cravings during ovulation and to avoid consuming empty calories, focus on eating a balanced diet with whole foods. The luteal phase will also begin on day 14 to 28. This phase of your cycle is like a roller coaster. Estrogen will fall immediately after ovulation but slightly rise on day 22 together with progesterone which has been on the rise from ovulation. So if pregnancy does not occur, both hormones will start to decline. What exercises to do in this period? During this phase, your body prefers fat as its primary source of fuel instead of glycogen or carbohydrates. And so it is not primed for high intensity workouts. You will experience premenstrual syndrome in this phase that may cause more water retention and you may experience symptoms like increased appetite, high sugar and fat cravings, bloating, restless sleep and even mild cramps. This will cause some discomforts and the lack of motivation to work out. But the good news is that since your body is burning fat during this time, then you want to take advantage of this by planning out cardio or aerobic exercises as your primary workouts. Exercises like walking, running or jogging, flat bicycle rides, swimming, jumping among others. Focus on eating a balanced diet during this period by eating whole foods which will help you keep full for longer and help to suppress cravings. After the luteal phase, you will be transitioning back to the menstrual phase that will come with an increase in metabolism, insulin sensitivity, body temperature and reduction in the pre-menstrual syndrome. So we are all different and it can take time to master all this but this knowledge and mastering how to plan your workouts according to your menstrual cycle will help you beat the challenges that hormonal changes cause in maintaining a healthy body weight. This is just a guideline with no guarantee but give it a try and figure out what works best for you. I've also put together a monthly workout plan that you can follow from the workouts that I've always been creating for you. Well, that is just about it for today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button or leave me a comment if you have any questions and share this video with your friends on social media. Let's also connect on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and Pinterest because I do share lots of tips there too. Subscribe for more if you have not yet and hit the bell button for notifications. See you in the next video and do not forget to love yourself first. Bye bye.